Tab McPhee, I have no idea how you got the gig. Did you have a long audition process? With this, was the role written for you? Go. Well, you know, it's. I was listening to Bob speak, and um, I talk about this. Well, I will talk about this with the, the stream we do on Wednesday. But I came off of okay, everything goes back to American Idol. When I was on American Idol, the season was so huge. It was like at the top of its numbers in terms of ratings. And uh, I got a call that Steven Spielberg wanted to take a personal meeting with me. And I'm, if you could only imagine, like your mind is completely blown. And I went into his office at DreamWorks and had a lovely sit down with him. He was just asking me what my inspirations were, what I wanted to do. And I, he said, did you want to do Broadway? I said, yeah, I really love to do Broadway one day. I like to act. And, you know, I was very careful how much I was like, I want to act because it's so cliche, like come off of a reality show and be like, I want to be an actress. Um, but he, that's what's so amazing about him is he didn't discriminate like against somebody who is a contestant on American Idol. He just was interested in talent and he saw something and he said to me as I was getting ready to leave, he said, I have some, an idea. Um, I don't remember if he said for you, but he says, I have an idea for something you might be good for. It sounds probably a little bit more uh, accurate. And then I got a script for it, like when it was originally at Showtime, when Bob was at Showtime and wow. they said, it's gonna be a couple years and then a few years later, I know there's like a whole history. And when they sent it to me, and I didn't even read the script yet. I knew exactly what it was. And I was like, this is the thing that Steven Spielberg was talking about all those years ago. Um, so, and I auditioned for it in LA. And then before I knew it, I was on a plane in front of Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman. And um, you guys are filming me. And then I knew Mark and Scott because I had done yeah. one Broadway workshop of Catch Me If You Can. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I was in... She oh, wow. nailed it. <laughs> she, we had the, the character of the hooker had a whole song, like a full the one Jennifer Garner played in the movie. Uh, song. Wow. Yeah. And, and Bernie tells, he said, uh, Kat McPhee, and you know, we had snobbish New Yorkish, like, oh, I'm that a girl from American Idol, really? Is she going to be able to, like, right. really? She, Kat came in, so, so cool as a cucumber, and nailed this song. <laughs> oh, of course, she did. Now, Bob, do you remember Cat auditioning? I, I do. And and I will say, um, I remember Stephen talking about her early, early on. And and yet Stephen is such a great creative partner. He wasn't ever going to say, he wasn't going to insist that she's, you know, to be cast. So he said, let's, you know, have, make sure everybody's on board and let's have her work with Mark and Scott and, and read some of the scenes. And she was amazing from the get-go and there was never anybody else that we considered, but it was Steven's eye from, he's a huge television watcher. And he was talking about it from, from you know, the beginning. Right. 